Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here, and it is with a heavy heart that we farewell yet another bodybuilder from the Golden Era, this time Ed Giuliani. I received this information from Alex Ardenti, a good friend of mine, after Sean Ray posted on his Instagram just moments ago about the tragic loss of Ed Giuliani. Ed Giuliani was 86 years old. If you have watched Pumping Iron, which I'm sure many of you have, as well as Stand Tall, a documentary, a movie by Lou Ferrigno on his comeback, you will recall the short bodybuilder that would jump into the arms of both Arnold and Lou in these films. Ed Giuliani was a wonderful character and loved by his peers and always carried that wonderful smile. He was like just such a nice guy. And although I never spoke to him, I really wanted to, I know that he was loved, really deeply loved in the bodybuilding community and he will be sorely missed. With this short tribute, I hope to shed light on the wonderful life of Ed Giuliani and it is great to at least know and acknowledge that he lived a relatively long life for a bodybuilder and fulfilled much during his bodybuilding career and outside of bodybuilding too. Ed Giuliani was born in 1935 and grew up in Brooklyn, New York. Ed began his bodybuilding competition in 1951 at the age of just 16 years and as an AAU competitor took the Mr. New York City, Mr. New York State, the Mr. Tri-State, the Mr. Eastern America, the Mr. Atlantic Coast and a sectional Junior America title as well. Coming out later to sunny California to the mecca of bodybuilding and competing with the IFBB, he won the Mr. Western America, the Mr. Pacific Coast, his height class in the Mr. World, and his height class in the Mr. America title. At his last show was in 1982 at the age of 47 where he placed fifth. It is not often that you hear of a bodybuilder nowadays spanning a career of over 30 years and four decades in the sport, namely the 1950s, 60s, 70s and 80s. During this time, Eddie competed in over 35 shows and collected over 150 trophies, which is very impressive and speaks volumes of his longevity in the sport as well as his love and passion through his consistency. Eddie truly lived the golden era bodybuilding lifestyle, training with all the legends of the sport over his many years of competitive bodybuilding. Towards the 1980s, Ed could be found in World's Gym, where he was a mainstay of the bodybuilding community. Ed, again, was such a nice guy, always smiling, and loved bodybuilding with all his heart, and it is always sad when we lose such a beautiful soul like Eddie. So once again, it is with a heavy heart that we say goodbye to a true golden era legend, Ed Giuliani. Rest in peace, you will be sorely missed. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now.